Alright guys, this is Chris with DenimBaseballCards.com again. 1992 Donruss. You can see down here in the corner that I've got the 1991 Donruss I just finished doing. I actually still haven't opened up all the packs from that, uh, that first green box that I did, first Series 2 box. But I've been uh, team up with Donruss. You'll get free cards, membership kit, and merchandise. <laughs> Oh, just send five dollars in a three by five card. Offer expires March thirty first, nineteen ninety three. It is <laughs> two thousand eleven. I kept thinking about these all night because it's probably the best thing I had to open right now. The nineteen eighty five uh, tops bending boxes that I got are very discouraging because of how many cards there were inside of them that were off-center, or, uh, yeah, off-center, and quite a few of them were dinged up real bad with, uh, on the corners and stuff like that, and very, very frustrating. <coughs> this looks like Rod Carew. Yep. So, the puzzle piece is gonna, the puzzle is gonna be Rod Carew here. Let's see what we can, see what we can see. Will Clark, Mark Lewis. Looks like Rob Deere tumbling in under there. Uh, Detroit Tigers number 44, Rob Deere. Terry Mulholland, Joe Oliver, Tom Pagnazzi, Oral Hershiser, Todd Van Poppel, rookie. Randy Randy Reedy or Randy Reddy, Chris Hammond, Jeff Blauser, Bill Landrum, Ricky Henderson highlights. Number 215, so it's not a bonus card. Checklist, Rick Honeycutt, and Julio Machado. Or I guess it could be Machado, but I always called him Machado. Most likely it is Machado. I can see that these packs were not made for easy open, as they are not easy to open. Dave Rigetti, Brian Downing, Paul Ossenmacher, Jose Vizcaino, Randy Johnson, Matt Marullo, John Burkett, Tom Gordon, Roger Clemens, Kevin Tappany, Ozzie Guillen. There's a real good look at your uh, at your buddy Ozzy. I was wrong in one of my previous videos for the 91 Donruss about uh, Verlander pitching yesterday. He did not pitch yesterday. He pitches today, I believe. Nolan Ryan highlights. Throws a seventh no hitter. I'm going to have to break out my little box cutter here and snip every one of these packs. To make them easier to tear because the, there's a layer of clear plastic over the top of the foil wrapper itself that is keeping it from easily being opened. Well, half of this pack is the same as the other pack. It stops at Randy Reedy. Starts a new one with Alex Burks, or Ellis Burke, Scott Sanderson, Alex Cole, Will Clark, who is the beginning of another pack. Rick Honeycutt, Machado, Chuck Finley, Mel Hall, Puzzle Piece. Well, I still don't see any good insert type cards that I was hoping would be in the set. I'm pretty sure there are. I just have to figure out which, what the ratio is for them. And I might just start hauling through these packs. Larry Walker. Alright. This right here is Jose Leaned. This is the reason, this guy right here is the reason that I have trouble pronouncing Adam Lind correctly because I had, I spent so many years knowing that this guy with this last name spelled this way, I knew it was pronounced Lind. So after 10 or 12 years of seeing Lind without seeing Lind, That's my default pronunciation for that. 
that spelling of it when I see it. Wow, my allergies are going to bug me a lot today. This is unbelievable. They weren't bothering me at all last night. It's just going to be one of those days. I just sneeze so hard I make myself dizzy. Still no Diamond Kings of any kind. Pudge Rodriguez. Still 36 packs to a box, still 15 cards to a pack, so... Definitely still getting 540... Or he's still getting 540 cards to a box, which is definitely good. Mark McGuire. Conditions are looking real good on these, coming out of these packs like this. Travis Fryman. Maybe... Maybe there weren't any Diamond Kings in this set. I looked on eBay and I saw some of them posted on there. But they may have been 1993 Diamond Kings that were... just listed incorrectly as 1992 from people that don't know what they're doing. But yeah, this is seven packs now that I've opened and I've got nothing. And this pack was almost exactly the same as the last one. I'm probably going to go ahead and open the rest of this box on camera, but I won't, uh, probably won't show you the whole video. I'll probably cut it right here at this spot. The reason I'm saying it is so I leave myself a message to cut it here and jump to the bot, jump to the back of the video so that way you guys can see uh, what I got in the box. But I'll go ahead. Looks like this is going to be just like the other 91 cards where it's just plain old cards. I got it. Alright. I got a Diamond King. That's what I was looking for right there. So they're not very, uh, not very often. Wade Boggs. DK number 9, or number DK9. Very, very nice. Very, very beautiful looking card. And obviously, all the paintings are, uh, Dick Perez paintings. Infamous baseball or sports artist. At that rate, there's probably only going to be at the most three Diamond Kings. Oh, look at this. We got another one. So maybe they're all in the middle of the box. David Justice. That's why we keep recording, just in case. You never know what's going to happen. I thought this was going to be a boring video. I'm going to edit out most of it. It's still kind of boring. It's, that's what that's what informational videos are. A lot of them are boring to people. Frank Thomas. White Sox legend. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop going through the base cards and just take the Diamond Kings out. I'm starting to notice a pattern here that, yeah, there's another one in here. So it was the four packs in the middle so far. George Bell is this one. through those. Now I mentioned in the previous video that there were Spirit of the Game cards, but that's 1993 Donruss. That's what happens when you've seen so many years of cards, you just start getting them all mixed up. No Diamond King in this one, but Frank, oh, that's Tim Reigns. 
just saw the picture. Mitch Williams. Look at that guy. Yes, that's Mitch Williams from MLB Network. Cecil Field or All-Star? That's what the All-Star looks like. That's the difference right there is the All-Star logo instead of the team logo. I think we've seen enough of these. Not bad though. I like those Diamond Kings. Foil stamping, borderless or full bleed. Nice paintings by Dick Perez. You guys have fun. I'm going to stop this video, upload it, and uh, empty out my card and then I'll do the box of Series 2. And we'll see if we can get more than four Diamond Kings in that box, but I doubt it. Have fun, guys.